Can the unnamed peasant survive the black hole? We're going to need a lot of space to test this. So first we come over here and we drop down the unnamed peasant who is still as creepy as I remember. Then we need to go and make sure that the uh, halflings turned into black holes is turned on. Now I need to put my little halfling black hole away over here. And then way in the distance, drop down a bard. That way the unnamed peasant has yeah. something to eat. Now we have to hope that the unnamed peasant doesn't kill the hobbit before he explodes into a round black hole. Okay, the unnamed peasant is there. Oh, the hobbit's doing hobbity things. Something the unnamed peasant is doing something that the uh, hobbit is probably not going to like. Here comes the unnamed peasant attack. But the hobbit successfully turns into a black hole right here. But here comes the unnamed peasant, who you can't even see. Unnamed peasant walks forward. Unnamed peasant seems to be ignoring the black hole. And he killed the bard. Okay, we need, we need, we need more space. Bard. Bard, Bard, further away. God, this thing sounds hideous. Halfling, you you need to you need to be further away. Just just come over here, okay? And just just come like way over here, maybe. Is this far enough away to have the absorbing black holeness happen? I don't know. Let's find out. Boom, black hole, and now we can watch as the black hole begins to grow, so that the uh, unnamed peasant can be sucked into it. Can, can, is he in? He's in. He's absolutely in. He is totally in. But does he survive? Now we wait and see. And hopefully Benny, 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 no, 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 no. Wait, we did it. We did it. The black hole. It killed the unnamed peasant. Oh, this is confirmed. Benny survived. <laughs> but can Saitama ignore metal balloons? This is, of course, in reference to the balloon arrows being unable to stop Saitama from, you know, doing what Saitama does best. However, if you look in your settings, you will notice a makes balloon metal option. So now when I shoot him 37,000 times in the back of the neck with the balloon arrows, they usually metal and maybe slow him down. So excuse me while I summon countless balloon arrows, metal balloon arrows, in the back of his neck. Just give me a second. Do you see wow. all of those individual arrows? There is a ton in there. Metal balloon. Oh, oh it erupts. And it, it's, it's, no, he's still walking. He is still walking. He is strong enough to carry the weight of tons and tons of metal and also continue to fight with that many air. Is there a fist in his back? He has that many arrows in his back. He doesn't care. He's punching them with a Saitama fist. Guys, this one is a no. You cannot stop him with metal arrows. Saitama doesn't care. Can 30 Huanchas stop 100 raptors? Nice big wide open map. Test this question. First, we have to summon the uh, 30 Huanchas. I'm gonna go like this and toss them here in the back. I'm gonna go 15 wide and then go like this. Boom. 30 who watches and then we'll come over here and we will summon 100 raptors this this is this is a lot of raptors this this is a lot of raptors oh no i don't know which way this is going to go but now we're about to find out oh slow down look Oh, that's terrifying. Imagine you're a little raptor and you want to nom 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 on some tasty humans, but the Huacha arrows are nowhere near enough. The raptors are climbing over the corpses of their comrades, charging into the line of Huachas. Oh, look, the Huachas are already killing the, the, the units that are already dead. C congratulations, Huachas because right now you're being eaten alive by the 100 raptors. Guys! 30 who watches cannot beat 100 rappers. Can wizards and chronomancers kill the dark peasant? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna swap the line like this, and then we're gonna put the dark peasant in the middle like that. Then we're gonna start with wizards. I mean, the wizards have a range attack, so the dark peasant should stop them. Let's see. Oh no, the wizard's attack goes straight through the dark hands of gods and they're not stopped. 
And... Uh, d I don't know. I don't think the wizards have a chance here, guys. I mean, one by one, Gandalf is being slammed into the ground by the Darpans of... God! It's just not enough. Maybe we need more? Okay. Outer Ring of Chronomancers. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Well, Dark Peasant, do you feel lucky? <laughs> do Wait! Oh, how did he get over there? How did he get- He just got yeeted out of the ring, and now he's over here. And the Chronomancers are slowly, one by one, turning into angels. Not a lot of angeling going on here. Are you gonna do something, Mr. Dark Peasant? Maybe grab the Chronomancers one by one and slam them. Are the Chronomancers- Whoa! Where'd he go? Hey! Hey! Oh, Dark Peasant blasting off to space. The wizards seem to have a little extra oomph this time. I don't know why. But the Dark Peasant, like, shakes it off. Like, he doesn't even care. And now we've got a bottleneck situation 300 style. Look at all the- Units coming out of their piles of corpses of all their friends. Well, I think the Dark Peasant's gonna win this. Like, look at all the dead units. Whoa, Dark Peasant's in the sky. Stop, stop, fuck. Where'd he go? I lost him. Where'd he go? Dark Peasant? Dark, Dark Peasant? The units are trying to crawl into the building. Red Victory? The Dark Peasant's gone! How did that happen? I guess it worked? Can 60 super peasants become a zombie? I'm, I'm coming back to this map. I need the space. Like, the sheer amount of zombies I would have to summon to destroy 60 super peasants is just too much. This is what 60 super peasants looks like. Oh, this is not possible. Right, what, I'm, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and put some giant zombies to act as like meat shields to maybe make them not die instantly. And then behind there, we're gonna add, no, 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 no. We're gonna add the zombie army to hopefully eat the, the super peasants. I don't know. And I'll put like flying zombies over here and then like flying, more more flying, we're at 200 units. And I don't think 200 units is gonna be enough. I'm gonna start this fight and it's gonna be ugly. 60, the, how, how, how? This is not gonna work. Here we go. <laughs> pause, pause, pause. <laughs> Look at this. Giant zombies instantly died as the Goku-like super peasants. Oh, oh my God. This is a bad idea. This is a horrible idea. I do not think I could summon enough zombies to kill this many super peasants without melting my computer into a puddle of metal goo. Can one tiny ice giant beat 100 huge halflings? This one's really fun, so watch this, all right? I will take a big ice giant. I'll slap him down for you. There you go. Wow. That's a big ice giant. That's how big he is. But when we go into our DLC settings, you can make units tiny. And that's what a tiny ice giant looks like compared to a big one. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I had the setting wrong. That is a tiny ice giant, much smaller. And now we turn off tiny and we add, then we're gonna add huge. Huge halflings. Here we go. One tiny ice giant versus 100 huge halflings. Oh, look, the halflings are like up to his waist. That's so weird to see. But um, who's gonna win? Oh, the freezing. Oh, the freezing. Oh, the black hole ability. I need to turn that off. I made it bad. I'm sorry, let me fix this. Much better. Tiny, tiny ice giant, humongous halflings up to their waist. Problem is we've got the ice breath that freezes all the things. But now the giant halflings leap in. Jump onto the giant ice giant, tiny ice giant. He's a sleepy little tiny baby ice giant. Guys, the halflings didn't really stand a chance from the get-go, did they? Here comes the massive punch. Oh, this poor frozen halfling. Oh, yep, this one is a failure. Can you stack 1,000 mammoths at once? Well, if we go into our settings and we go and we make pillar mammoth turn on, this will allow us to stack mammoths on top of each other. There's 24 mammoths. And look how high into the sky 24 mammoths go. This is not a 1,000. This is only 24. So I will now delete them all. And just for fun, we're gonna swap the line, put the mammoths in the middle of the line. And now we summon 100. There's about 106. As you can see, the mammoths are trying to do the whole collision detection physics thing and figure out where they all stack up as they launch that high into the sky. Just gonna back away as far as possible. Let me just give you a, a visual representation of the mammoths going up into the sky. That's a hundred. Now we go to 1,000. 1,000. I'm, I'm scared for my computer. 
this is probably the worst idea and worst question I'm ever gonna have answered. Wow, we are really slowing down after 200 mammoths. Oh, this is not doing good, guys. We're not even a third of the way there. We are currently adding about two mammoths a second. Oh, look, we passed 500 and um one and a half mammoths a second. Um, scratch that. We are slowing down to less than a mammoth a second. I have passed 600 mammoths and it has slowed down. To be honest, guys, I am scared for my computer. I'm gonna say that this one is a fail. You cannot stack 1,000 mammoths at once. 